decided to surprise her with a little European girls weekend away to Lisbon, Portugal. This is the capital city of Portugal and I have never visited here before and neither has my mum. So it just made total sense. This is our current view, the current vibe. Stepped out of where we are staying and walked down to come for breakfast and that is basically as far as we have got. You excited? Yeah. Look how cute. We have just finished up having breakfast in a restaurant called Dia Rida. No, not Dia Rida. Yeah. Jesus, that's a tales of something. Dia yeah. breakfast. Wow. Dia breakfast and I saw that on somebody else's vlog on YouTube or on Instagram maybe, basically online. And I thought, yeah, I'll book a table there. So I'll insert a little overlay of the food that we right just now. had. Really, really good. Looks great. Does not taste great. I'm not sure what it is. Kind of tastes like vegetables. Probably is vegetables. Food, however, yummy. The rest of the breakfast platter has arrived. We are eating good food on this trip. <laughs> a really decent value for money as well. Like, I've not found anything to be crazy expensive here so far, which is really nice. I think coming from a Scandinavia trip a couple of weeks ago, there's a noticeable difference here which is lovely. <laughs> Look at that guys, now we're in Lisbon. So as always guys, whenever I visit a new city, I really do think that the best way to see a new place is to walk around on foot. Although in Lisbon, I will say it is particularly hilly. We stumbled across this little church and headed inside. Obviously it's gorgeous. Of course it is, it's a European church. And then we headed to Green Street. Basically there are these two really famous streets in Lisbon called Pink Street and Green Street. And this apparently was Green Street. It was very nice, lots of people getting Instagrams. And then we headed in a bolt, basically an Uber, very bougie, Tesla picked us up, to head over to Belem Tower or Belem Tower. I'm really not too sure how you say it, but that was our next stop. This is the Belem Tower or the Belem Tower. And I think the rest of the information I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna do it as a voiceover because look how windy it is. <laughs> look how windy it is. And also we're unsure, yeah. It's obviously very, very popular because it's very, very busy around here. Look at the queue to get in. We are not gonna join this because this line is insane and I kind of do think from the inside, the view is of it, you know what I mean? Like when you go in, you're looking at the water maybe? Okay, we've pulled the hair back because it's time to eat the natta tarts. Apparently these are the most famous ones. These are from the Pasti de Bellum, which is the name of the tower. You guys saw the inside of it. I'll also link their Instagram down below. We've had this recommendation by two different people, one of my mum's friends and also the taxi driver as well. So the exact same place. Judging by the length of the queue, I feel like it was the place. So not gonna lie, I don't know if it's like the home of the Natta Tart. I don't know if the first one was made, but it definitely seems to be one of the most popular ones. Wow, it's been there since 1837. Secret recipe is created every day now, baby. It does say that it is a secret recipe, not a regular Natta Tart recipe, it's a secret recipe. Oh, they're warm, they're warm. I'm so excited, this is like my favorite snack anyway. Well, this is messy. Oh, she's going straight in. <laughs> she's not holding back. She's already eaten it. What else do you want me to do with it? Take a photo of it. <laughs> Guess not, I was gonna be like, let's go, but I was like, oh. So not the usual of things to eat. I'm actually so messy. They are nice stuff. Mm. We have made friends with this really lovely cat. Such nice markings, look at his back. Never seen a brown cat. Before. Never seen a cat with markings like this. Hi. Oh. Hi. 
we have come to the Augustus Arch, I think this is called. Pronunciation on point, I'm sure that's exactly how the Portuguese would say it. Basically, it's this massive square. As you can see, it's all painted yellow. I would say this is definitely the colour of Lisbon, like. Okay, I was just saying that uh, everything is this shade of yellow and then this lady asked me to take a photo of her, so. I'm gonna take it as a compliment. I must look like I know what I'm doing. As you can see by the rain landing on the lens, it is now raining quite fast, actually. This has just come from nowhere. So I'm gonna put the camera away. Uh, oh, we're actually getting soaked. <laughs> Red. Okay, we're sheltering from the rain, but look how cute this place is. Once the rain had passed, we continued on with our little exploration of this area. It is absolutely beautiful. This is Rue de Augusta. That was terrible pronunciation, but it's kind of like the main shopping street. Then we accidentally stumbled on some kind of celebration, really unsure what this was. Before heading back in the direction of our Airbnb, but not without stopping to look at some of the incredible views of the famous rooftops here in Lisbon. That is like the shot of Lisbon and we have just walked up here for free. Didn't cost us anything, it's just stairs. Definitely do recommend checking this out. Hello, it has been a little while. I have gotten changed because this evening we are going out. My top is all, my top is all wrong right now. So we're just gonna ignore that. We are going to this rooftop restaurant that I actually found again on Instagram. So if you've ever wondered where I get inspiration for these kind of trips, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube are like my go-to. And then obviously also like recommendations of people that I know have been to these places. It is kind of like a rooftop that overlooks like Lisbon, the city of Lisbon. And it looks pretty nice. Don't know what to expect. Made this reservation about a week ago. Can't find the reservation in my email. So we're just gonna rock up and hope for the best. Otherwise, maybe we're not going there because we're gonna have to find somewhere else, but we shall see. Perfu curry, rice, a little cocktail, a little wine. One's got some kind of loaded sandwich in there, which looks insane. You've got a very nice view behind you. Basically, this restaurant has like an outdoor courtyard, so it's got loads of hanging lanterns, an outdoor space that you can usually sit in, however. I think it might have stopped, actually, but like, it is really, really raining, as you saw from the last clip. But the view out of Elizabeth is really beautiful. Such a nice city and so hilly, so that does mean you get really good views wherever you are. Less fun to walk around, not gonna lie. However, right now, very excited. To Hello, it is now the next day, Monday. Completely lost track of what day of the week it is. And I didn't intro the vlog this morning, but I do have a lot of clips that I'm gonna overlay and kind of voice over. But day two of our itinerary in Lisbon was a little trip out to a place called Sintra. If you've ever done any research on Lisbon, you might have heard of it. Or you might have seen these kind of images on your Instagram. I feel as though I definitely have seen it before. Again, it lends to what I was saying yesterday. This whole city is obsessed with yellow. Everything here, bright yellow. And I kind of like it. I feel like it definitely makes the whole place have a more positive feel and like a more uplifting kind of vibe, even when the weather's not good. So maybe the key to happy vibes is painting all the buildings yellow. I don't know. Anyway, um, but I'm gonna include that footage. I'm not gonna lie to you, the weather really wasn't amazing. I feel like we kind of knew that yesterday was gonna be the better weather day. But we powered through. We did get a bit wet, but it's fine. I'm gonna insert that here. So Sintra is a tiny little town located way up above the city of Lisbon, about 40 minutes out. And we actually chose to get a bolt here, which cost about 10 euros. It was really very cheap and definitely a good way to do it if you are thinking of planning a trip. But it is definitely worth noting that it's a super hilly place. Like it was a lot of incline walking. It was actually quite difficult. But as you can see, it is really gorgeous, really, really lush. The architecture is just incredible. The castle itself looked beautiful. We actually didn't go inside it, but we did have a walk around the grounds. And then we explored the actual town of Sintra and I imagine in a summer that this gets really really busy because it was busy and it's February so I would say it's worth looking at booking in advance if you are thinking of adding this to your own trip to Lisbon. Look at that for a view. That is pretty impressive now that the sun has come out and the sky has cleared up. There's mum. This is probably how we should have done today but we didn't. <laughs> And now, as you can probably tell by the change in lighting, it is the evening. 5.30 p.m. and it's still light outside. That's actually mm, pretty good. Sunsets later here. Tonight, slightly different from your regular weekend break, we are actually going to see the 1975, which if you are a long-standing viewer of this channel, you will probably know that me and my mum have been going to see the 1975 since we were, well, eight years. For the last eight years, eight. me and my mum have been going to see the 1975, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see that tour last year because I was in Australia. It's definitely more my mum that is a fan of him. Yeah, my mum and dad went. And I actually met some of you guys at Manchester Arena. That was last year, wasn't it? Yeah. 
completely coincidentally, they are playing here in Lisbon. I did not know that when I booked this trip. It was afterwards that me and my dad actually realized the dates overlapped, which was honestly just the universe aligning because that was not in the plan. It's actually quite funny because there'll be a vlog on my channel from about seven years ago where we went to Vienna and we tried to go and see the 1975 in Vienna. But then they cancelled their concert, so we've we've done this before, we've been here before, we've tried to see them play a European date night. Date night? Date night? A European date in the past, but it didn't work out. And then the planets and the fates aligned, and now, seven years on, we're finally going to get to do it. We also tried to see them in Melbourne last year. We did also try and see them in Melbourne. We've tried to play. Yeah, we have tried to see them twice internationally and it's never worked out. Third time lucky. I'm probably not going to film loads just because this isn't really what this video is about. If you do want to see content from a 1975 concert, like I said, there's probably about six vlogs on my channel. There's also tons of other people that would have vlogged that specifically, but I'll include a little bit. First things first, though, we're going to go get pizza. Here we go. It's the post concert pizza. I've gone for a Capri. It's got mozzarella and tomato on it. Post, sorry, pre pre concert pizza. Pre concert for second. I've had more prosecco than it looks like I have. Yeah, everybody, everybody in here, guys, is English or Irish. So everybody we've had going to the concert so far also seems to be from the UK, which is actually quite rogue, given that like we're in Portugal on a Monday night. That's morning it is now tuesday and we are walking around the streets of lisbon for our final day here in the capital city of portugal and we've just had some breakfast gonna insert a little overlay here of course i had avocado and egg on toast actually doesn't really matter where i am in the world probably gonna have that for breakfast if it's on the menu but our plan today is to explore a little bit more of the city we're gonna head over to a market that's only on on tuesdays and saturdays and very conveniently today is tuesday um, and then also i think we're gonna head to this place called the xl factory which is like an art and food place there's like bookshops independent stores to be honest i'm not 100 sure what it is but i guess it'll become clear when we get there right now we're currently trying to find a bank because we need to change some euros into coins and because we've left our luggage at the train station today because we don't fly until this evening apart from to get it back they only accept one euro coins so we really need somebody somewhere to swap our 10 euros for one euros back in this square that we've already been in once in the vlog having just been to the bank apart from the first bank we went to the first two banks we went to we were like oh could we swap these notes for coins and both of the banks said oh we don't have any money but like, they just didn't have any cash and i was like oh but you're a bank if you can't get money from a bank i understand a lot of shops don't take cash and don't operate with cash but if you can't get cash from a bank i was like what is going on anyway so then i ended up being taken into a completely separate meeting room so that this guy could like find some coins for me and i was like it's just all very odd all very bizarre oh a cruise ship we've got the goods we've secured 15 euros in coins and now we're going to the market <laughs> it's an elsa tuk tuk it is a tuk tuk with Olaf and elsa on it brilliant massive yellow building i'm obsessed with everything being yellow Are sitting outside the Pantheon, which I'm actually not sure what Pantheon means, but there's this little flea market on, and then there's also all of these cafes. And I was just saying to my mum that this is the first time, probably since I would say Tom and I finished traveling, that I felt warm in the sun. Like it feels like summer. Like I think it's just because we are sat in a sun trap, so the temperature's like really, really elevated here because there's no wind, there's nothing. But I'm not complaining about it at all. I'm also wearing black jeans, which is definitely making me feel warmer, but like all in all, pretty happy. Look 
at this for a bookshop. This is just insane, guys. And then they've also got a bike hanging from the ceiling. Every book you could ever imagine. Probably in Portuguese, to be honest, rather than in English, but still pretty cool. Lots and lots and lots and lots of books. Okay, lunch is served. Once again, Janine's tucking straight in. She's over the eager beaver. She's like, oh. No, the habit of last year of waiting to eat my food and I've actually eaten it warm for a full year. <laughs> Have you seen that clip of Millie Bobby Brown being like, my phone will never eat first. Like, I will never take a picture of my food. I'm the opposite of that. I'm like, I'll film every single meal. I am back home in my office after a really lovely weekend in Lisbon. I honestly think, and I don't say this lightly, that Lisbon might be the perfect weekend break. It has so much to do. It is such a bigger city than I thought it was. And it has so much culture, so many great restaurants and bars. I feel like we barely scratched the surface. There were so many other places that I would go back to if I went again. And I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. I hope that it has been useful. If you've watched it because you're planning a trip, I definitely think that was kind of how I focused this vlog. Let me know if you've been, if you think that there's anything else that we could have done. There were a few other bits and bobs that I had on my list. If I went back, I would really love to visit the Tile Museum and also to spend a little bit longer at Sintra and actually go in the castle, but the weather was just not great when we were there. It rained a lot. It's a lot to walk around. If you've been, you probably know. It's like, it's like a hike. <laughs> but yeah, definitely really, really recommend adding it to your list of European city breaks that are good for a long weekend. We spent three nights here and I think that was the perfect amount of time, to be honest. I definitely think that you don't really need too much longer. It was it was also so lovely to spend this trip with my mum and get to travel with her and get to treat her for her birthday like that is something I really don't take for granted and I'm so grateful that I can do things like that and that is because of you guys watching as well so I, I really do appreciate that and I want you to know that so big love if you have enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on the notifications I shall see you guys in my next upload which will actually be up on Sunday shifting all the videos back a little bit this week see you soon bye